G'day, Tiny here from Off Tap Brewing. And how are you guys doing today? That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Uh, today's video is a tip in five minutes and under. And my tip for you is how to fix leaky tabs. Of course, you guys out there that use the plastic FVs, fermentation vessels, right, run them. Yep, that's the way we get our wort out. You've also seen the, the build-up you get inside, the dirt, the build-up of, of yucky. Sorry, my fingers are a bit dirty. I've been under a car most of the morning, just waiting for a part to come into the shop, and then I'll be back under a car this afternoon. So let's see how the Beer Fun Friday video works out. Anyhow, you get these. You get, they get dirty inside and the stuff builds up inside and you've got to pull them apart and that's really really hard to do and then when you clean them and you get it all nice and clean and then, then you put it back together and you put it back in your FV you mix your wort in it one of two things always happens you've left it on and your wort flows out under the floor and it's a big sticky mess um, especially if you, you know, if you're just using kit and kilo and you've just poured your sugar in and you've just poured your kit in and you're just adding your hot water then you've got hot sticky really sticky yucky concentrated crap all over the ground the second thing that can happen with these is they start leaking drip 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 the whole time it's fermenting and there's nothing you can do you know you've already got 23 liters five gallons whatever blah 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 of of liquid in there and you've got a leaky tap the only thing you can do is let it leak into some sort of container underneath or put a towel under it and blah 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 my tip on how to fix them is quite easy it's a very simple solution you put this in the bin you put this back in your bucket of course, after every ferment you do in your bucket, you pull this out, you clean it, you clean the thread, and you clean the inside of the bucket thread. Then once that's clean and dry, you put this back in, and you tighten it up. Now I just made a little tool to go in there. I used a, a hacksaw blade, a hacksaw, and I cut the thing off, I crimped the edge, and that's my little tool that goes in there. That's not the tip. That's pretty cool though. I've just always got that hanging up there. Put this back in your bucket is my tip. Don't use those taps. Go to your local store, spend $10, $15 and get yourself an auto siphon. Because you cannot kick these off your buckets. They will not leak unless you want them to. And they generally leak out of this end after you've pumped it up and the wort comes out and goes psh. So you've got more control over things. You've got a much cleaner, environment to work with with one of these in your bucket you've also got uh, you're not going to kick them I don't know I, I've had up to five fermenters sitting in front of my kitchen cupboard here and I've walked in and I I shit you not I've kicked three taps off you kick one and you spin around to grab it and to lift it over and you've stood on another one and then you spin around and try and grab that one and you've kicked another one off it's happened it's very messy it's a waste of money it's a lot of hours to clean up a lot of mopping. So today's tip: if you can, yep. Today's tip on how to fix those. One of those. You get it with your FV. Sometimes the shop will pull them out to force you to buy them. I've got bags full of them, and they're shit. I hate them. Hate them. I call them brewing nasties. So my tip today is get rid of the brewing nasties. All right, that's under five minutes. Thanks, guys. Remember, beer makes us smarter. Makes you smarter, makes me smarter.